our defense and in this team. And uh, not, you know, the, you know, what about me? You know, I'll, I'm going to do me attitude. I'm going to do me attitude. Is, I'm going to do, you know, the team. And uh, so, uh, find out more of that. We had dinner at Davos House last night. Mackenzie Alexander showed up. You would have never known it unless you saw him. Didn't say five words. Mm-hmm. But I, I would imagine he's that way with the team. But do they see him? As a leader, just simply because they see what he does. The work I think that he they see him in. work. You know, yeah. Mackenzie works. So uh, Mackenzie works. He's not afraid of work. You know, and uh, he's got to do it. You know, you know. But but you know, that's a good quality for for Mackenzie. What does he need to do to take that next step to get to that next level? Uh, probably continue to do that. And do it at our pace and do it at our pace all the time. Uh, not most of the time, and then again, now you got to really take an ownership in your group. You know, Robert Smith uh, and Gary Peters really—they wanted the group to perform well. They didn't want people to laugh at the secondary. They didn't want people to make fun of them. Uh, you know, they—they they took a lot of pride in that. And uh, and uh, you know, and those are two different, really kind of guys in some some ways, but in some but in the way they cared about, uh, you know. The end result was the same. You know, how to get there maybe they looked at was a little bit different, but that's okay. Not everybody has to be just the same. But again, a guy like Robert was in there, you know, every bit as much as the coaches, and then you know he was trying to help other guys uh, equally as much and bring other guys along. He wouldn't worry about helping that guy that's trying to take his job because he knows if he's good enough, he'll play too. You know, there's room for you know both of us. So really, kind of taking that more of a you know, uh, group uh, accountability and and really and then that transcends to the defense, you know, having a great defense, you know, caring about having a great defense, not just being great at what I do. Somebody what does talk it take to, um, to build a, a scheme, a, a system to where you can have personnel losses like you've had and not have to make drastic changes in, in your scheme or what you do? Um, I don't know uh, how long. Because those coaches, um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's the art of coaching is getting them to buy in sooner rather than later. The good thing about here is that there's already a culture of success here. And, uh, we recruit good kids and you can recruit good players. So I'm not sure how long. Uh, and, you know, everybody, uh, again, at some level, you know, experiences the same thing. So even the great elite programs, which I believe Clemson is, uh, or, you know, somebody, you know, hits it just right, maybe at a lesser known program. Um, when you lose, you know, leadership and, and, and uh, playmaking, um, that's the challenge, you know, for everybody. It's not an easy challenge. You don't just keep plugging them in, I don't think. Uh, uh, but it's all relative to, to that next season and the matchups and what the other teams bring to the table. So that's why every season is just a little bit different that way. You write your own book, uh, and you tell your own story. So you know, sometimes you say, well, those are both great defenses in their own right. It's hard to pick one above the other for great players. You know, he played in a different era. You know, he was dominant in his era. I'm not sure if you'd do well in this era. And I think year to year, you have those differences in some of the, you know, varying factors that, that determine on whether or not a team or a unit or a player is successful. So uh, we're at that point where, you know, it, there shouldn't be drastic dips. And uh, if we were a team that recruited heavily in junior colleges, uh, for example, I think it could be more hit and miss because you're so reliant on those guys. But we're in a, in a program that, again, develops, to use Coach Sweeney's words, develops through the draft. And, uh, you know, not everybody's going to be that same guy, you know, but, uh, but hopefully it's close, you know, one way or the other.